guys welcome to my uh, uh, another uh, video tutorial but uh, before we start uh, please uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel okay so this time I am going to show you how to use is us data recovery wizard okay how to recover uh, your lost or deleted files by using another uh, software. This time we're going to use is as data recovery wizard. Okay, so uh, before we start, uh, let me read the, the description of this application. Okay, so is as data recovery wizard can be able to recover deleted, formatted, or otherwise inaccessible data from your hard drive or any form of storage devices uh, most especially uh, those inaccessible uh, hard disks or storage devices that later on once na clinic ninyo uh, mag siya ng permission para i-reformat yung flash drive ninyo or hard disk ninyo so stop right there hold on because uh, we can actually solve that problem without formatting it okay so you can recover documents photos music videos emails folders and archive files etc from windows laptops and desktop computers and uh, this application also supports multiple storage devices and including external hard drives, USB flash drives, SD cards, memory cards, digital cameras, MP3, MP4 players, etc. And other uh, storage devices. So marami siyang uh, supported na Mga devices okay and there are some yeah uh, rumors oh wow rumors talaga no okay that this application can already detect your file and uh, to be specific or to be exact even your uh, even the file name of your lost data okay before you even retrieve it because last time's video tutorial guys with power data recovery uh, we don't have a uh, choice but to click retrieve and then later on re-retrieve niya lahat yun kung ano man yung kaya niyang retrieve but this time guys uh, we can actually select those files that we want to retrieve before the process so very promising application right okay so uh, let's try to investigate and explore this application shall we so here we go again to our computer okay so first guys we need to consider what uh, storage device are we going to use okay uh, shout out nga pala sa nagpahiram ng flash drive na ito kay Mr. Pogi okay wow okay so uh, iniram natin itong flash drive na ito kasi feeling niya daw wala ng pag-asa so try natin isolve yung problem niya no? problem ni Mr. Pogi Okay, so let's try to see what's inside this drive. Okay, so empty folder. And then let's try to format this drive. Okay. To be more convincing. Okay, wait until uh, the process is finished. Okay. 
bakit ang tagal Oh, ito na yata yung sinasabi niyang sira nitong flash drive. Why oh why? Ang tagal. Ang tagal niyang ma-reformat. Definitely something is, is actually wrong with this flash drive. Okay, yun. Okay, uh, let me explain this first, guys. Uh, as you can see, if ever you're encountering such problem, uh, well, I guess, meron na siyang uh, physical damage pag matagal i-reformat or uh, matagal ma-reformat or matagal mag-respond yung storage device ninyo. So, I recommend na i-backup nyo na kaagad yung mga files na nandyan. Okay? So, this uh, flash drive is intended for this tutorial only. Okay? Hindi ko rin siya pagsasaiban kasi mukhang uh, may problema na nga. Okay, close. Since tapos na nating i-reformat. Okay, let's try to see it again. Okay, as in. Walang bahid ng malisya. Okay, let's close it. And then, uh, let me introduce to you guys this application. Okay, one of the powerful application that I'm using. Aside from Power Data Recovery, we have here the Is As Data Recovery. Okay, double click. Then click yes to open the application. So wow, this is our uh, this is the uh, interface of this application. So you can see, guys, na detect niya ay apat na storage devices. We have here my uh, drive C, which is nandyan yung aking OS or the operating system. And then we have here the drive D and then drive E. Those are my partitions. Okay, and then uh, this drive, obviously, the external drive is our flash drive. And by the looks of it, guys, yes, wala siyang laman. As in 62.41 over 62.50 gig. Wala nang difference yan. Uh, tanongin nyo pa kung bakit may nawawalang ibang file uh, that's normal pagdating sa mga storage devices sometimes hindi siya perfect 64 gig although yun yung naka-indicate but uh, doesn't matter walang problema dyan okay so click this uh, or click the uh, external drive make sure na naka-highlight siya okay and then, we're now going to scan. So you can see, this is a very user-friendly application. Click scan. And then, automatically, guys, kikita nyo dyan. Okay, nag undergo na siya ng uh, scanning. At dinedetect na niya kung ano yung mga possible files na pwede nating recover. Wow, ang dami. Paborito ko to eh. Marvel's The Punisher. Natapos ko ito. Okay. Sa Netflix. Sabay nung Daredevil. Uh, basta, marami pang iba. Nilig tayo sa Marvel. And of course, uh, to make it balance even DC Universe ano rin tayo dyan, involved din tayo okay as you can see guys meron na siyang na detect na 25 files within a few minutes okay so dito makikita natin kung ilang minutes pa yung remaining ng kanyang pag uh, detect okay so totoo Okay, 
yung balibalita wow, balibalita ano na we can uh, or this application will actually give you the chance to select the file you want to retrieve or recover kasi na discuss ko last time kapag recover mo lahat takes time maybe uh, pwedeng isang oras dalawang oras but kung isang file lang naman yung gusto mong i-detect okay, hindi yun magiging problema kapag uh, nagahabol tayo sa oras and uh, uh, the way we see it guys we can see all the possible files na gusto nating i-retrieve and yes makikita din natin yung file name wow very impressive application ok let's wait for more scanning ok so how many minutes na? Okay. Few minutes lang. 31 files na kagad yung kanyang uh, nare-read or na detect Okay. So, wow. Na-impress ako doon, ah. Okay. So, even yung ah, uh, uh, MKV file, wave, even the auto run na detect niya. Okay, even yung mga nakasave sa notepad na detect din niya. Wow. Very impressive application. Okay, maghintay pa tayo ng konti. Let's wait na makadetect siya ng documents. We'll try to retrieve uh, probably one document and one video. And kung may mahanap pa tayong other ano, uh, files. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I think uh, in the meantime, this is uh, enough. Because uh, this is only uh, ano, intended for tutorial. Ano. Okay, we're not. Uh, pause muna natin yung uh, pag execute ng deep scan. And then uh, we'll try to maximize our screen. Yeah. Okay, as we can see here, guys, uh, we have lots of files, possible files na pwede natin ma-recover. Okay, kukuha tayo ng sample sa bawat file. I think we're going to choose video, document, and then picture. First, let's see kung meron tayong JPEG or graphics file dito. O yun, merong tatlo. Parang kinakabahan ako i-open to ah. Kasi meron siyang uh, preview option. Which means, pwede nyo makita yung picture na gusto ninyong recover at parang natatakot ako. Bigla akong kinabahan. <laughs> Kasi hinihiram ko rin itong flash drive nito. Anyway, malinis naman ang ating consensya. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, preview. Oh, we have a banana. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a banana. And another one is... Okay, an apple. 
Uh, safe. Delikado ba? Kasi may lumabas na picture dyan na babae na kaya hindi ko kilala eh. Delikado. Alam nyo naman. Mm -hmm. Ay, mga, baka magselos kasi yung girlfriend ko. Delikado. Wow! Well, bakit ako nag explain Siyempre, para very good tayo. Ano? Kasi, once na meron ditong nakita, may mga mabibilis talaga kasi ang pag-iisip. Hmm. Kaya ko ito explain ka agad kasi she's definitely going to kill me before I even explain myself in person. Ano, joke lang, joke lang, syempre, joke lang. <laughs> joke lang. Syempre, hindi yung nagsiselos. Asa, kung magsiselos. Wow! Asa, nes. Hindi magsiselos. Hindi yun si Loosa. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to... Uh, recover... document picture and then I oh no, sorry one of our video uh, one of my favorite ano uh, TV series Marvel's The Punisher okay so tatlo lang yung sinelect natin para mabilisan lang ano but uh, you're free to choose anything guys pwedeng I-highlight nyo yan, i-click nyo yan yung mga boxes ng mga gusto ninyong recover. Pero careful kayo guys ha, kasi baka may ma-recover kayong uh, file na nagko-contain ng virus. So kapag hindi kayo sure kung anong file yon, especially itong mga file na ito, okay, do not recover it. Uh, who knows, di ba? Maybe it contain some viruses that may affect your computer. Okay, and then, after clicking those uh, files that you want to recover, okay, we are now going to click recover. Okay, and then, uh, your computer or the uh, ESAS data recovery will ask you where or as to where it's to save yung mga files okay let's try to save here documents my documents and then nawala na kasi yung ano let's try to create another folder okay documents new folder okay ito natin is save yan then we're going to click the application okay once again guys click recover then kailangan natin siyang save dito sa directory new folder my documents and then new folder click ok yes wow impressive yung speed nya ok pagpasensya nyo na guys kung uh, amateur video ito uh, next time we'll try to ano we'll try to uh, use another application para maganda-ganda tong ano video natin okay so uh, okay recovery complete save na save na siya dun sa new folder click okay
As you can see guys, ang gamit nating application ay uh, legit or registered. Okay. So, kapag hindi kasi siya registered or hindi legit yung gamit ninyo or trial lang yung gamit nating application especially pag di, uh, pagdating dito sa ease us uh, I think 2 gig lang yung ibibigay niyang capacity na dapat ma-recover then once na na-exceed ka doon hindi mo na magagamit yung application you need to buy its license okay punta tayo doon and then uh, and take note guys upon doing uh, recovery please do not save your recovered files dito sa flash drive kung saan ka nagre-recover kasi pwedeng magkaroon ng uh, ano ang tawag doon a uh, conflict Okay, kasi pwede niyang i-recover yung mga files na na-save mo na ulit dyan. So, better safe, you need to save it from another partition or to another partition. Okay, so go to documents, new folder, and then recovered files. And then... Uh, the application will create subfolder and then upon opening this folder okay dito natin makikita yung mga files natin okay marvel ito yung video ito yung picture okay na divide na siya into subfolders and then office excel okay so tatlo lang yung recover natin okay go back to our uh, going back to our application I guess you can see guys naka recover siya or naka detect siya ng 206 files try to imagine guys 206 files and counting kasi nasa higit kalahati pa lang tayo wala pa tayo dun sa uh, pinakasagad niya which means pwede pang madagdagan or may possibility pang madagdagan yung 206 files na yan so I am very impressed with uh, the uh, capability of this software and I hope guys, makatulong ito sa mga teachers, sa mga students. Sa mga teachers at sa aking mga students, uh, yes, bago kayo graduate, bibigay ko sa inyo itong application nito. But, before that, kailangan ko munang uh, masiguro na gagamitin nyo ito sa tama at uh, walang bahid ng anumang klase ng anomalia ang paggagamitan. Ano. And for my Hello teachers, yes guys, uh, just PM me, uh, pwede kayong mag uh, PM sa akin sa Facebook, Apollo Mercado Abad, sa mga nakakakilala sa akin, PM lang kay sa akin kung kailangan nyo itong application, I am willing to help, since mga teachers tayo, uh, yes, more power sa atin, and uh, Yes, next time's video tutorial, ipapakita ko kung paano i-install ang EaseUs Data Recovery and then Power Data Recovery. Okay, so thank you guys. Happy watching. And please do not forget to subscribe. Okay, so I hope guys at some point, uh, nakatulong yung video na ito para magkaroon tayo ng additional knowledge and uh, yes uh, makatulong ito for future uh, kung ano man yung mga paggagamitan or if ever na maka-encounter tayo ng uh, unavoidable circumstances 
So, yes, uh, ready tayo kung ganun. And, uh, yes, uh, next videos naman tayo, next tutorial. Uh, ipapakita natin kung paano i-install yung mga applications na yun. Marami pa tayong mga videos na uh, i-upload dito sa channel. So, I hope uh, magpatuloy yung support. Please do not forget to subscribe. And, uh, uh, watch the other videos kung hindi nyo pa napapanood. Mali, uh, pangatlong video na ito. And, uh, rest assured guys na marami pa tayong mga uh, i-upload na informative videos na pwedeng makatulong sa atin. Especially pagdating sa uh, computer, pagdating sa mga softwares or kung paano troubleshoot yung mga uh, software or hardware problems natin. Okay, so please guys, subscribe. Okay, thank you for watching.